Okay, uh, just really proud of our guys. Excuse my voice. Uh, coming off of a bye week, um, prior to that, a tough loss to UConn and uh, a team that uh, was really reset and got their minds right and, and found a way to come up with a win. I mean, just a lot of character on this football team. It really is. I just am very proud of, you know, how they handle adversity. And, you know, during the course of that game, there was a fair share of that going on still. And, uh, you know, uh, it's really felt that this team believed from the start. And uh, all that being said, just really proud of them. It was great to get a win. Yeah, we got to enjoy it for a short period of time, get ready to go attack a really good uh, East Carolina football team at their place. So, uh, again, I just like where we're at right now, and we just got to go back to work. That's what it is for us. So, any questions I can ask for you, answer for you. When did you know When did you know that Evan would be good enough to go? When you talked about some Monday, you said you need to get his arm warm back up. Did you yeah, it wasn't, until, <clears throat> it wasn't until Wednesday when he really uh, took a full practice, and uh, it was a full padded practice, and so, he took a bulk of the reps then. That was his first day where we knew that he was going to be okay to go. How would you assess how he played today? I thought he played pretty good. You know, I mean, they pressured us like crazy in the, in the first half of that ball game. And we had to kind of flip our mindset and get to some quick throws. And he, he managed that very well, got the ball out of his hands and delivered a ball to a, you know, a bunch of receivers, you know, pretty much put the ball exactly where it needed to be within the progression of the play. And, you know, uh, he's just, just a tough nut. I mean, you know, it was time for him to run the ball. He ran the ball, created the contact, and initiated the contact. You know, I was a little um, worried about that coming off the shoulder, but um, he's a tough nut, you know. So with that being said, he, he did a really good job. How valuable was the bye week for Danny and Evan just getting more rounded into the offense and so forth? Yeah, it was, it was very crucial for us, actually. Just getting bodies back was the most important thing. But yeah, getting timed up was, was, was critical for us, no doubt about it. So. Um, we spent a lot of time. We, we, we actually, you know, got a, a couple of days ahead of the game plan, and so we were able to, to practice on some, some sp um, specific things, excuse me, uh, that was going to be uh, executed in this game plan. So, um, no, it, it, was, it was crucial for us. We don't have that luxury all the time, honestly, you know, so we got to be able to get timed up in, in a regular week of prep, and, you know, you can't just credit that to a bye week, but we just got to be able to do that on a, on a regular. How about the keys defensively in controlling the run game? You guys have been able to do that now a couple weeks in a row. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's critical. I think you got to give credit to the offensive line. And Everett Weathers is doing a great job of, um, you know, calling plays that are designed to stop the run. And our, our linebackers are, are well coached by Chris Woods. And they're, they're fitting gaps when things are not quite going well up front. And when there's misfits up front, those backers are making it right. And we're tackling. You know, we're, we're, we're doing a much better job of tackling. And it's not just linebackers and D linemen. Our, our, our secondary comes up and tackles the ball, you know. And uh, you know that's something that I think that's been pretty consistent over the last couple of games. And uh, we need to continue to enhance that piece of it. You scored on three of your first four drives, and then just one of your last seven. Yeah. What, what is was that? You guys slowing yourself down, them adjusting, a little mix of everything. Well, you know, they they showed us a bunch of pressure, then they kind of came out and bluffed the pressure looks and. They made some halftime adjustments uh, that worked for them. And, uh, you know, obviously there were some penalties that took place, you know, that kind of put them in advantageous situations and extending drives with some of the PIs that were called out there. And so, you know, that being said, you know, they, they took advantage of that, you know, and uh, were able to get a field goal out of that deal in the, in the third quarter. And, you know, so, no, we, we, uh, we had to settle down. We knew that that was a team that wasn't going to quit. You know, we didn't perform to the best of our ability. Um, we had some self-inflicted penalties on offense as well. You know, it just became a penalty fest for us in the third quarter. But we, it's something that we got to fix in a hurry if we want to continue to win ball games. That's for sure. Sam, I thought a key play was um, I don't know, maybe it was when it was twenty to ten or seventeen to ten. But they gave it to the receiver who, who then looked downfield to throw the ball. Then it wasn't there. Yeah. I think the one got off sack on the next play. Yeah. But like. I don't know, did everybody seem like covered what they needed to cover? There was no, nobody got fooled on that, which they were looking for. No, he was looking so. to throw that ball, and our, our DB for a split second looked like he was out of position. I was worried about him throwing the football, and he rallied back to the to the guy's hip, and so we forced the guy to, to, to pull it and run it. But uh, it, it was still a positive yards you know, play for them. But um, no, that, that was something that we had seen in film before, and you know, um, those trick plays could get you if you're not ready. You know, it just really requires a lot of discipline. And uh, I'm glad our DB kind of rallied late to get back on that guy's hip. Do you know how Dante's going to be? 
Uh, I don't know that yet. I don't know the severity of his of his injury. You know, I know he's a tough kid, and he's he's uh, you know excited to get back. You know, is what he told me just now. But uh, we'll, we'll assess it, and we'll, we'll do what's right for him. Is it the same thing that was bothering him before? I know he's been banged up. I mean, on and off this season. No, this is something different. Okay. Yeah. They were, in Dante's absence, you guys had 13 different people catch the ball today. What'd you make of everyone being able to get involved in the club of people that get, made that many catches? For us to move forward as an offense is exactly what needed to happen. You know, we were targeting Dante quite a bit. You know, good defense is going to, you know, eventually game plan for that. You know, and I think the game plan this week was to pressure us and, you know, try to double him. You know, so uh, no, it's it's a very important for us and and. Um, you know, our office of staff to continue to distribute the ball to our playmakers. He's not the only playmaker in that room on that side of the ball. And so um, it's time for those, those other guys to be exposed for sure. Coach Drake, how do you feel about uh, building upon this uh, victory moving forward? Well, you know, just, I mean, I'm excited about it. Our kids are, are excited about the, the opportunity. Uh, we're going to celebrate this win, but it's been tough. We, we've endured a tough road. So, we know they come hard, you know. We know this is going to be a short celebration, and we got to get back to work. That's what this team is is all about: is getting back to work. And you know, again, you know, we we've overcome a lot of adversity along the way, and I think that's what set us up for a victory today. You know, but we've got to, you know, continue to get back and get back to work and and, and keep things in reality. There's a lot of things that uh, did not quite go our way today. These penalties have to disappear. You know, and uh, we got to figure it out, or we're, we're going to struggle again. So, I'm, I'm proud of our guys, but um, I'm also excited about their mindset of getting back to work and, and, and earning every win we get. Sandy, what has Torres shown you over the last couple of weeks? A couple of weeks ago, you said you know you didn't feel he was confident enough to be out there with his ball security, and now he seems like he's your primary guy. What has he just kind of done in your relationship? I think a week ago, I said it was just a learning curve. Okay. You know, he's been pretty solid with carrying the football. You know, um, and he's been very, he's a very, when you talk to him, he's a very confident dude. I mean, he don't think anything about him is wrong, <laughs> okay? So, I mean, you need that. Um, but, you know, it was just a matter of his learning curve, not knowing all the plays, protection. So, you know, this bye week was really good for him to kind of get back to zero and kind of catch up on things that, you know, he missed in the spring. You know, we just got him in the summer, so. Um, no, he, he put the work in this week, and you know we we designed a game plan to get him the football quite a bit. And he's a dynamic football player. You know he can make you miss in a tight space. He can create explosive plays for you. And, you know there's still a lot of growing that needs to take place with him though. So, but uh, we're happy to have him for sure. And what's the status of DJ Wilson and Tyree Washington? Did you see them out there today? No, they're they're not available to us right now. It's a day to day thing with them. How about Kenny? Yeah, early question for Coach? Kenny early word on Kevin Terry. Not yet, no. We just know that uh, it's, it's a, a reoccurring injury, um, something that he overcame within a game week before. We just got to check the severity of it again and see see where we stand. Is okay. How valuable is Peter Clark on the goal line? It, you know, as long as we continue to get touchdowns, I mean, he's very you know important to us for sure. He's a big body, you know, that understands the coverage gets tighter down there. He understands the speed of the game that needs to take place, the, the tighter the field gets. And, you know, he's a mismatch just off the size alone. Six five guy that can get off the ground a little bit. I mean, you know, just a little bit, he got a little hops to him, but he's a huge, uh, you know, uh, radius for, for throwing the football to. And so, um, you know, it's been good for us so far this year. Okay. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.